boy and going in the house back with another bang on video where ladies and gentlemen i have got uh, in this video you'll come to know about uh, william saliba coming back to arsenal well uh, yeah, just yesterday mikel arteta told in a press conference that uh, sant etienne can have william saliba but the whole situation is now turned upside down why you'll come to know in this video and not only that we'll talk about the future plans of arsenal's transfers in the coming transfer window what are their priorities we all know that but which direction are they working more and the future of bukayo saka as well so keep watching the video and make sure you subscribe if you haven't if you seek daily arsenal news just like uh, uh, every other arsenal fan who would in any part of the internet this is the best part to be this is the best place to be because you're going to get that twice a day and most importantly if you guys believe in me uh because uh, right now we're on a mission of reaching 5000 subscribers as soon as possible help me reach that mission so the first news we have is uh, the official fwa women's player of the year has been awarded to vivian medima yes the arsenal player she is an unbelievable she's a menace when we go forward and she is a goal scoring machine the goat ladies and gentlemen please put your hands together for vivian medima she has been awarded the women's player of the year she has been unbelievable ecstatic i love it well moving on well talking about saint etienne well because they have actually uh, not liked the whole situation that arsenal have put them into and arsenal are right in their own way just let me know what you guys feel about the whole news which i'm going to deliver right now saint etienne actually have been told by arsenal to uh, you know return back william saliba so william saliba will return to arsenal as soon as possible after confusion over his loan deal mikel arteta had generously been hopeful of extending his loan deal so that the frenchman could play in the french cup final against paris saint germain and which we applauded all the news about but the two clubs have had a disagreement over his training plan now why would that be because arsenal actually said in a statement that throughout our discussions with saint etienne our aim has to protect has been to protect the welfare of william saliba as well as the interest of arsenal football club while honoring the terms of the loan despite the loan ending on june 30th we were willing to find a way for william to play in the french cup on july 24th despite having no contractual obligation to do so as william is returning from injury we asked that saint etienne whether they follow a clear training plan with william in close collaboration with us to ensure he is fully fit for the start of next season that, that, that that's a very much fair thing to ask for from arsenal's point of view because they're doing you a favor at least you can you know if they're scratching your back why can't you scratch theirs well to which arsenal said to our surprise we were unable to reach an agreement to this plan with saint etienne which was proposed by our medical experts and we are simply not prepared to risk the welfare of an arsenal player and that is really great because i think santa etienne are actually crying foul against this why would you want a player well if you if you if you are expecting william saliba to come at arsenal he should be physically fit so his training plan should be tailor made according to the player's fitness levels and i think arsenal are completely right because they are the ones who are actually uh, concerned and should be concerned of the fitness of the future uh, of william saliba and probably arsenal were really right in doing whatever they did but santa etienne said no and Saturday and actually have accused us of imposing absolutely unacceptable sporting and financial conditions that is so absurd from Saint Etienne and league one clubs said in a statement that AS Saint Etienne was pleased to learn yesterday to Tuesday that Mikel Arteta Arsenal coach was ready to leave William Saliba at the disposal of the club until the final of the Coupe de France July 24th next William Saliba has been training for several days with Claude Puel's group and was obviously very enthusiastic about the idea of finishing his course in green with such a match Alas, Ayas Saint Etienne, which simply wanted the extension of the initial loan until July 24th, could not find an agreement in the evening with Arsenal to allow the defender to properly pre prepare and play this meeting. The English club imposing absolutely unacceptable sports and financial conditions. Unbelievable! Why would they do that? I mean, that's 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 a that's a problem waiting to happen right there. why would arsenal even risk their player i mean that's really wrong well we we know what uh, we had a a very chunk a big chunk of our players lost you know the best players uh, could not play the best days because of injuries and now we have a bright future star center back who's coming to arsenal next season would you want him injured i would want all the gunners to let me know in the comment section what do you guys feel about this saint etienne act what they have been doing i don't think so they deserve a player like william saliba to be loaned back to them as well ever ever for that matter well moving on Arsenal are putting finishing touches this is coming from David on scene that Arsenal are putting finishing touches to the new long term contract for Bukayo Saka that will settle future of brilliant academy graduate expected to be announced this week also intensifying pursuit of Atletico Madrid midfielder 
Thomas Partey. So keep watching the video and probably keep following this channel because within a week or so, you guys will know how exactly Arsenal have progressed in their pursuit of signing Atletico Madrid midfielder Thomas Partey. Well, finally, one can say that uh, Henrik Mikitarian is definitely no longer an Arsenal player. Now, you'd find it really funny because I'm actually... You know, stoked with this because Arsenal have agreed with Roma to extend Mikitarian's uh, loan deal till the end of the next season. So it's pretty much clear that uh, Mikitarian will definitely Arsenal cannot bear the whole of uh, his salary. So here's here's the breakdown. Arsenal will save approximately 11 million pounds from Mikitarian's departure, 2.5 million pounds the fourth and final installment of the loyalty reward, 8.5 million pounds the player's annual salary. And a total two year a two contract contract was cancelled at the request of his agent, who will pay a compensation amount within a million pounds to Arsenal according to the terms of the contract. So it's pretty much clear it's a win-win situation. Arsenal don't get to keep Henrik Mkhitaryan, and in return Henrik Mkhitaryan gets to play for Roma for a very long term. Players happy, we are happy. We don't get to sign Justin Kluivert just because it it could be a burden to sign a new uh, developing player. Let that headache be with AS Roma for now. Well, not only this. Let's talk about something big. Henrik Mkhitaryan also uh, tweeted out saying, I'm very pleased as finally we could reach an agreement for me to stay until the end of the current season with a provisional deal for the next season too. I'm happy to stay here because I still have things that I haven't achieved yet that I want to achieve. So uh, I would say congratulations to Henrik. May he find all the happiness wherever he is. I just hope he just has it in him to show uh, you know, whatever football is left in him. I think he should uh, reach all the heights possible. Well, probably Arteta has spoken about Bukayo Saka and Fowler in Balogun. He's saying, I'm not worried because I know that the club is doing their best to try to keep them. Hopefully, we can have some good news about them very soon. Hopefully, we can have some good news about them. I see them really committed and hopefully we can find the right agreement for both parties and move on. Because I think there's a great future ahead of us with these kids. And talking about Ozil, Mikel Arteta says... Uh, uh, he was asked actually, uh, uh, why is he not playing Ozil? Because he's the highest earner. He says, never. That is an agreement that the player and the club were happy to do, to move ahead. And it's never, I question. I think players are paid whatever they deserve. And that should never be something I have to judge. And he say, uh, further on, uh, uh, Arteta says, I'm expecting a player that is not playing to feel hurt and disappointed. I believe that he's not very happy because he's not playing. But as well as he picked up an injury the other day and we have to wait and see how he evolves. Well, not only this, let's talk about something more. Well, uh, since Arsenal don't have to pay a huge amount of money, probably they could use that £10 million in signing. And his Bardi, well, he's rated at £10.8 million, 10 £10 million and he's tipped to become Arsenal's third permanent Arsenal signing. Mikel Arteta's third permanent Arsenal signing for that matter. The 24-year-old is the latest name to be linked as a midfielder. But let's see if he's the uh, worth it or not. Well, if you see most goal involvement since the start, since the restart, since February 1st for that matter, Pepe has played 60% of the minutes of those around him and is still putting up those numbers. 20 goals or assists in the league minimum next season. That is completely, arguably, it could be possible because Nicola Pepe has scored two goals and scored three assists and actually assisted thrice. So he's been our go-to man for sure. Well, not only this, Arsenal fans need to understand that Arsenal are prioritizing a centre-back and a midfielder, and Thomas Partey and Dio Pamecano are the players that Arsenal are about to reach. But more on this, keep watching the video. Alex Lacazette actually wished Hossam Awar on his Instagram. Well, yes, he put this up in his Instagram story. Born anniversary, crack. And it's pretty much clear that, uh, you know, it could be that he's acting as an agent, and agent Lacazette is working Hossam Awar to Arsenal. Is it possible? Let me know. Well, it is rumored that the Arsenal home kit for the 2020-2021 season will be launched on July the 10th. And that is the whole reason why Arsenal have put up this, a new banner, outside the Emirates Stadium ahead of their return to action today. And a potential teaser to the new kit as the banner is the same design as the rumored home kit. Well, not only this, Paul Merson reckons Chelsea will topple Liverpool and win the Premier League in the next few years. He says, with Liverpool putting up records like they have with their players being as good as they are, it's only a matter of time before the likes of Barcelona and Real Madrid come calling. In three or four years, I'd be quite shocked if Chelsea don't win the Premier League. To go and beat Man City was massive. It was massive because everyone is looking to close the gap. Well, talking about Manchester City, 
well they are happy with the deal because Leroy Sané is a done deal to Bayern Munich Leroy Sané has joined Bayern Munich in an unbelievable deal 49 million euros up front with 11 million euros in our add-ons it's pretty much clear that's nothing shy of 55 million pounds and it's pretty much clear that is an unbelievable staggering amount of money but uh, you may, you have to understand that he's coming off from injury as well but talking about Arteta he spoke about Ganduzi he says he's a really young player and still in development when you are developing the curve is not normally so much straightforward you have to have some bumps and have to adapt to it then you have to find the things you've done right and things you've done wrong and that is what he says about him well these are the news of the day i hope you enjoyed whatever came your way all the views and news and everything about arsenal comes platform every single day twice so sit back relax and enjoy all the news that comes on this platform i will see you in my next video until then cheers and don't forget to subscribe